because even if it's not new, necessarily new, that uh, Latin America criminal organizations, mostly Mexican drug cartels and the factions they have through South America, are going to, um, to uh, Europe to operate towards uh, uh, small ports like Antwerp, but also Spain and Italy. Uh, it's still very interesting how they're kind of leaving out and forgetting about the U.S. market in terms of cocaine trafficking, uh, still not, nothing big on, on fentanyl. But also, they're setting up laboratories to cook methamphetamine inside within the, the European um, uh, nation, like in Spain and Italy. But most importantly, Italy, Spain, and uh, I think it's uh, Sweden, it, these these uh, countries are becoming huge for money laundering for uh, Latin American criminal organizations. So let's read these uh, interesting report released yesterday by the OCCRP, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, a um, great source of uh, news when you're trying to understand the wider scope of things, right? Italy and Spain dismantle cartel money laundering network. Italian and Spanish authorities arrested Tuesday 33 suspect members of a global money laundering network that operated at the behest of South American cartels and seized almost 20 million euros. This is about 21.4 million US dollars of their assets. The alleged perpetrators were nationals of Italy, Albania, Colombia, Morocco, and Syria, managed an international network of companies specifically built to launder the proceeds from the cartel drug trafficking operations. Very interesting set of countries, right? Italian, well, we know the Italian mafia. Albanian mafia also operating huge in Latin America in places like Ecuador, uh, some of them even in Colombia, uh, Colombians, of course, Moroccans, and the Syrians all together. Interesting stuff. Money laundering experts across Italy and Spain have investigated the network's activities since at least 2020, the Europol said. The offenders allegedly designed a trade-based money laundering service known as the Black Market Pesos Exchange, a process which could wash the cartel's money at an accelerated rate while also reducing the risk of any seizures at the hands of police. How are they doing this? The cartels will sell their drugs to Italian buyers as a form of credit, and the profits were then invested by brokers across China, Turkey, and the U.S. into companies implicated in the conspiracy. Some more interesting countries involved in all these uh, drug, international drug trafficking organizations. One such Chinese-based company ordered mobile funds from domestic distributors and then shipped them to Colombia by way of the United States. Upon arriving in Colombia, the phones were resold on the local market and the proceeds were delivered to the cartels, thus completing the circle. Italy's financial law enforcement body, the Guardia di Finanza, reported that investigators had managed to infiltrate an undercover agent into the network of international brokers, upon learning that the Sicilian and Calabrian mafias were involved with the conspiracy. Apart from communicating on encrypted channels, the suspects also operated in partially populated areas across Italy, so as not to arouse suspicion, police said. In Italy alone, investigators linked no less than 42 cases of money laundering to the brokers and seized 18.5 million euro, around 19.9 .9 million US dollars of the cartel's assets. This is one of the, I think this is the tip of the iceberg, right? We're seeing countries like China, Syria, Morocco, Italy, Spain, Colombia, of course, Mexico, involved in international drug trafficking schemes, either mon laundering money, finding new ways to ship cell phones to Colombia and then get the proceeds out of that, which is uh, cartel money. I think what is to come in the future, I don't think it's the, in the immediate future, I think this is going to happen in the, uh, yeah, well, probably in the, within the next 10, 15, 20 years, is that we're going to see a global uh, network of these small cartels, like it's happening right now. Cartel de Sinaloa has kind of like lent their brand, right, all over the world. There are African gangs saying that they are Cartel de Sinaloa, that they have the hooks. 
It's just basically they're paying a rent to use the name on behalf of the cartel de Sinaloa in Africa. And so eventually I think these small brands are going to have to disappear. And then we're going to see these global criminal networks moving assets, drugs, men making hits all over the world on behalf of a global uh, illegal corporation. Why is this important? Because the U.S. Uh, is always seen as a victim, right? Yeah, all they do is they, they send drugs to the U.S., they're fucking contaminating our country, um, we are only exporting guns. The U.S., for the most part, is a huge hub for other kind of shit, like this stuff. They, China is sending cell phones through the U.S. that are not meant to the U.S., are meant to go to, to Colombia. Also, as we watched uh, on yesterday's newscast, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. These uh, fentanyl pills uh, machines, pressing machines, and fake Xanax are sent into the U.S. before reaching Mexico, making pills and the pills back into the U.S. So the U.S. is a major hub. We need better watching on the ports of the U.S. We need better, um, yeah, watching on, on the airports, on, 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 on the seaports, land ports. I'm not saying that we need more agents on the ground. I think we need more intelligence and definitely more transparency by U.S. officials about what is happening and the role that the U.S. plays along these global criminal networks um, that, that are about to pop up as, as a huge global network.